What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I wanted to show you guys a bit of what's the difference between the Ackerman setting being pretty much at zero or being very low compared to being up high at 100. Now, Ackerman in the game is backwards to what it is in real life and in the game it should be actually not called Ackerman and it should be called parallel steering. That way you can get a better range of what the wheels are doing on that specific slider. So at zero, the wheels are not at parallel. They're at the furthest apart that they can be. And at 100%, the front wheels are exactly the perfect ratio from one to one from left to right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tune this car up just a little bit. I put the Ackerman all the way down. I think it's at zero or maybe I left it like right at two. And then we're gonna jump into the parking garage. So for you new guys that are like brand new to the game and trying to figure out how to set up cars, go to the parking garage and turn around and go up through the cones. And once you drive all the way up, you'll be on the top of the parking garage. It's a perfect flat level wide open area so you can practice your drifts and uh yeah i just wanted to show you guys that this is a super cool little hidden location where you can you know hone in your technique so as you can see here we are trying to spin the car out as wide as possible you can see our speeds are about like 35 to like 40 maybe 42 43 the car is very limited at angle and it wasn't gaining any speed and it was like pulling the car inward so now we're going to set the recommend at a hundred you're going to see a world of a difference in the car now putting the car at zero acumen helps with the steering input especially when you're newer to the game because what it's doing is scrubbing your speed and holding the angle so it's keeping the car in drift pretty well but you won't be able to keep up or hold a solid line being at 100 the car is a bit more twitchy but you gain a lot more speed so you can see here we're going about 50 55 and the front wheels aren't scrubbing at all so now we have more angle more speed but it is more twitchy so what i recommend is bringing the ackerman down just a little bit so that you have a fine balance of the car's performance and especially while being on a wheel you can feel the the front end like load up in the wheel a bit better hold a bit more angle consistently not just holding it because you have 65 degrees of steering lock but like hold a consistent line so as you can see here we drop the slider down some we're not scrubbing we're maintaining the same speed but when the car gets to like a very high degree of angle it will scrub just a little bit just enough to slow the car down and keep that line consistent so this is a big big thing when trying to build uh, like comp cars and stuff like that we want a little bit of Ackerman just to help position that car keep it smooth and keep the speed up so it's all about balances um, if you put it at 50 to me personally it scrubs way too much and it pretty much does the same effect of anything below it so it just becomes more and more um, demanding of like scrubbing the speed and angle so hopefully this helps uh, like explain that with the game so another quick tip for you guys is that if you're trying to replicate a build from real life and you have your Ackerman settings and let's say you have like two or three or four degrees of Ackerman in your car suspension setup what you can do is on this slider itself you have from zero to a hundred but for every ten numbers is one degree of Ackerman so if you have zero Ackerman in your car you have the slider at a hundred if you have five degrees it's at 50 if you have three degrees it's at 70 so hopefully that helps you guys with that so guys if you have any more questions leave it in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy peace